So you guys know if you've been watching my YouTube channel for some time, I am all about editing tutorials and showing you guys how to edit your own YouTube videos. Now the big thing is I haven't made one of these tutorials and I don't even know how long you guys have noticed I've probably gone ghost. I've been making, you know, different videos and different softwares, that kind of stuff. I've kind of abandoned the editing niche in a way, but I figured it's almost the end of 2024. You guys might get a PC for Christmas. You might get a PC for your birthday sometime in the near future. So what better time to make an updated editing tutorial in DaVinci Resolve showing you how to edit your very own YouTube videos for 100% free. Now, before you say anything, oh, it's probably one of those editing softwares where it costs money. No, it doesn't. DaVinci Resolve is 100% free for you guys to download and use. There's nothing for you to buy. There's nothing that you're not able to use. The entire software is 100% free, and that's why I love so it. If you guys do enjoy it, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, but I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve, and let's just get right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so the version I'm going to be using in this video is actually DaVinci Resolve 18. Um, if you want to download 19, it's going to be the exact same process you just go to the free download right here davinci resolve studio you guys can see for the low price of 295 dollars you guys can unlock like stuff that you're not even going to end up using so just download the free version i don't know why people buy studio um i have studio but you know it is what it is if you guys want to download it link's going to be at the top of the description you go boom you uh click on windows 86 here i believe if i'm not wrong and then you just like do fill out your information yada 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 whatever um enough talking i'm just gonna boot up davinci resolve and uh this is what you're gonna be faced with and i'll see you guys once i'm inside of davinci 19. all right guys so you guys can see i got davinci resolve studio 19. i don't know why i said i was using 18. i'm on 19 uh, but i'm gonna be using 19 to show you guys how to edit your own youtube video or i guess i'm gonna be kind of covering like an intro in a sense um but once you have davinci resolve open you're gonna go to new project name or whatever i'm gonna do sample youtube uh tutorial october 2024. Obviously, if this is a YouTube video for your own channel, you're not going to name it that. You're going to name it something like um, Kevin Editing Test number one i don't know um but what you're gonna do go here to your edit tab to get started um i'm only gonna be using this tab maybe this tab and then this tab for you guys today actually i'm gonna use the color tab probably show you guys how to color correct but i'm just gonna be showing you the basics of the software you don't have to worry about all these random things going on once you use the software a little bit all of these things will start to make sense i know it looks super intimidating having all these on the screen and the big thing is you might have this screen when you boot up if you want the same screen that i just had all you have to do is click on media pool which pops up your media pool and your effects tab which is going to pop up your effects tab so the main thing i do every single time i start an editing project no matter it's a youtube video a client video i go here file project settings i change my timeline frame rate to 60 which automatically changes the playback frame rate to 60 and if it's a youtube video i keep it at 1920 by 1080 because that is youtube resolution um da vinci gives you a button to literally press vertical resolution which is super nice if you're doing like a youtube short TikTok, for example stuff like that you're able to just press that button now obviously you can edit a youtube video without footage so the main thing i always do i open up my footage folder um i think one of these is like a random intro for a video let me see here quickly all right so we got an intro right here i believe this is the intro here yeah okay it is so i got a random intro for a youtube video uh we can see once we drag it in our media pool it's right here we're able to double click on it preview it all that stuff um but what we want to do is we want to drag it into the timeline now this is where what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, going through the first step of the editing process, which I like to call um, cutting out dead space. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, we're going to be cutting out dead space. Now, there are two different ways you can do this. DaVinci allows for you to drag on the right side, drag on the left side. You can't just drag it down and then start doing fine tuning. But what I do is I love using our trusty friend, the blade tool right here, blade edit mode. Now this could be um, activated by just pressing B on our keyboard, or if you want to be, you know, do the extra step and click on the button itself, you can. Uh, but the blade tool literally allows us to click wherever, boom, 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 boom. We're like slicing it up like fruit and. Um, and if you do make a mistake like I just did, Control Z is your best friend. Okay, so cutting out dead space, like I said, I don't know why I keep on getting sidetracked. We can see in DaVinci, they bless us with audio waveforms. If you guys don't know what that is, it shows the audio of the clip itself and where we're talking. Now, obviously where there isn't an audio waveform is where we don't talk like you can see in this video. Boom, I don't talk. And I don't know why my audio is messed up, but I will be fixing that right here. Boom, okay, boom, error. Okay, but let's imagine this is an intro where we're not talking or we don't make a mistake like I am. 
um so like you guys can see right here play through gap in the middle so we're gonna want to get rid of that so obviously we're gonna cut on the left side where there's absolutely no talking here we're gonna click on this press delete and then we can move this over now what we're literally gonna do is come through and go crazy we're gonna use our blade tool cut uh let's just ignore that cut 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 let's just ignore this stuff right here now we can see we have a bunch of different segments now now all we're going to do is we're going to come through we're going to delete the ones we don't want in there boom 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 and we have something that looks like this it's like a, a puzzle now we're just going to move literally everything over or if you want to save time you can click in the blank space press delete click in the back blank space uh, blank space and click delete i don't know what's wrong with me um stay with me <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure everything's good as you guys know mistakes so we're gonna cut this out boom obviously it's gonna be a little bit different for every single recording maybe you make mistakes maybe you don't make mistakes and you're perfect unlike me um yeah let's just imagine that this entire sequence is 100 percent perfect we've cut out all of our mistakes obviously if there's like a mistake here for example you can get rid of it delete it simple i don't need to hold your hand through that um boom that is an example let's say this is a completed intro in terms of being cut down and mistake free uh there could be a bunch of different directions you want to go with this like let's say you want to add subtitles davinci blesses us with the titles tab or you drag in a title thing type whatever you want um the main thing that you're going to learn to love about davinci is that you're given your um, project like effects controls in the top right at all times uh, if you don't have it it's called inspector you can um if it's like this click on inspector you'll be given all the options we're given zoom controls position controls x and y we're able to rotate it and make it do like cartwheels uh we can change the anchor point which you guys don't need to learn uh pitch which is like shifting it uh yaw yaw which is like rotating it side to side we're able to mirror it up and down i don't know why you'd want to do that but you can you're also able to crop it if that's something that you're wanting to do again i don't know why you would do that uh but yeah so the main thing i'm going to show you what i do for my subtitling process is i'll drag on a subtitle layer and for every sentence i'll come through with the blade tool so right here i'll show you an example so as you guys, so as you guys boom cut after and then this becomes so as you guys and this one no on the channel this becomes no on the channel boom okay and then this will just be like boom 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 sentence 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 blah 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 obviously not as big as this there will be they will be a lot smaller and shorter um but what you can end up doing is changing them to say whatever and then you'll just select all of them and you'll go to here and you'll move them down to the bottom of the screen and you're also able to change it to a font that you actually want to use like uh planet comment which is like my favorite one to use davinci also gives you a bunch of options like drop shadow uh you're able to apply that to all of them make them look pretty you can already see it's looking a lot better um so that is subtitles let me show you how to do some color correction on your clips to make it look better and pop out all right so to do color correction what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the color tab here um and inside the color tab we're able to edit like a bunch of different things like color boost um the shadows highlights saturation hue all that stuff for me what i do is i literally um will just change the saturation to 65 we can see it gives it a little bit of a color boost um and then from there i will do that with all the clips so i'll just do you know 65 65 65 65 and i feel like that just gives it the best color boost possible now you can also edit the contrast if you want mess around with that kind of stuff uh completely up to you and uh yeah that's basically that now in terms of adding like b-roll footage if you guys have like secondary like stock footage that you'll put in like for example you have i don't know like a video of let's say like someone on their tablet i don't even know why i have this but if you have like secondary footage that you're throwing up like above where you have like you know it goes like this and then you have like something like this what you can do is you can drag this down over top of your footage and then you can go here to video transitions and davinci resolve will use um it's built-in transitions right here boom just like that or like if you do like i don't know like a cross fade something like that you cross dissolve just like this boom and you can like literally transition back into it if you want like that 
Um, so that's how you use transitions, text, color correction. Um, inside of effects, there are some other cool stuff that you can mess around with. Um, if you also download plugins, there's a lot of stuff you can mess around with. Like, look at all my stuff right here. That's just Sapphire plugins too. There's so much more that you can unlock in terms of uh, doing plugins and all that stuff. But yeah, I believe that is all I needed to show you guys other than like literally dragging in a song or something like that, like background music. Um, I will literally use like the same few songs for all my videos, I'll, like dragging one of these you probably will hear the song in the background of my video uh but you know we just got like this in the background boom and then that's like pretty much a youtube video once you're ready to finalize it you go here to the deliver tab and i'll show you some basic settings um the deliver tab isn't too complicated like you should be able to figure it out without me showing you guys but i'll just show you what i do personally for um my own videos i'll just give it a second normally it takes like a second when you click on the deliver tab for the first time but once you're doing like back-to-back -back projects it'll be pretty responsive and quick we just got to give it a second here let it load do its thing it's just compiling the project getting it ready to be able to be rendered out but yeah we can see here just change the file name to whatever final um let's do sample vid go to location i'll just pick like my finals folder um i leave this literally all on default add to render queue and i'll render it out and then it will just do its thing it'll render through damn my thing's fast it's running at like 300 fps um and boom just like this we pull up our sample we got our sample right here and uh yeah that's basically that so if you guys did learn something you want to support me or you want to check out some other tutorials i have a playlist linked at the top of the description underneath the davinci resolve link with like all of my tutorials that i've shown i got advanced tutorials specific effects like subtitles uh intros how to add music all that stuff is going to be um in the description so if you guys want to check that out watch some more tutorials i have a ton on the channel i've been making them for like three years if you guys didn't know you haven't watched my videos before if you are new welcome to the channel we'd love to have you uh, if you want to drop a sub but yeah like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out